Portrait photographers rely heavily on what we call a fill light. The fill light, or fill, is a contrast-reducing light in a portrait lighting setup. It's called a fill light because it literally fills in the shadows created by the primary light in our setup, which is our key light. The fill light can be any type of light that does the job of adding illumination to the shadow side of the subject. It can be a light similar to your key light, just less intense. Uh, it can be modified with a softbox or umbrella. You can even use a reflector instead of an actual light source to bounce other lights onto your subject to create the fill. Portrait and video lighting setups can consist of several lights, all with different roles to play. The key light is the primary light and the first light you should be concerned with. Make sure to watch the video about the key light to learn more about what it's for and how to use it. Other lights in our setup can include background lights, hair lights, and rim lights, but it's the key light that gives us the most information about the subject's form, while the fill light helps fill in the dark shadows on the opposite side of the key light. By doing this, we reduce the contrast on the subject, and this can help soften the look of the light and shadows. You might be familiar with the idea that the larger your light source, the softer the light. And that's why a big softbox up close to your subject can produce a really nice gentle transition from light to shadow, which results in a softer look than, you know, say a bare flash. The large area of the softbox's front panel reaches more areas around the subject's form. But you can think of a fill light as a way to extend that reach of light further around the subject. Conceptually, it's like making the key light even bigger. And again, bigger light is softer light. In a two light setup, the primary light is going to be your key light. And the second light is the fill light. Now, here's a typical two light setup. First, you'll place your key light. Again, take a look at the video that I've made about the key light so you can get some more detail about this. And make sure your key light is producing the lighting pattern that you want. Next, bring in a fill light. And we usually place this opposite side of the key and a little lower against the subject. The purpose of the fill light is not to eliminate the shadows that the key light creates. The purpose of the fill light is to soften those shadows by adding in a little additional light to that side. So the fill light is relatively less intense than your key light. You might set it up to throw only about half the amount of light as the key light. The actual ratio of light intensity between the key light and the fill uh, that affects the contrast on your subject. Now, you can use a light meter or some other method to dial in a precise lighting ratio, but you can also estimate and take some test shots until you see the amount of fill that you want. And once your light power and distances are set, you're good to go. Keep in mind that it's not just the power of the light that determines its intensity and effect on the subject. The distance from light to subject, the modifier used, and the light used these can all affect the look and intensity of that light. You'll have to experiment with your setup to find the general placement and power settings that work best. And once you figure that out, just use the same placement and settings each time as your starting point for similar portrait shoots. All right, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you next time.